everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons, and in this video, I am going to be teaching you this bunny design. I just developed this bunny design this week, just in time for Easter, um, and it's based on the 321 B body. I've got a whole bunch of these white B bodies left over from Halloween, from making ghosts, uh, and I wanted something to do with them. So each cheek, muzzle, and eye, that is one B body there. And then over here, another. So there are two B bodies in this design. This is a link alone or quick link. Um, you've got four 260s of whatever color you want to use for the body. I'm using a scrap of black here for the eyes and a scrap of pink for the nose. So those are the balloons you need. Uh, this is definitely not a beginner balloon. 321s are not very easy to work with. Um, and I guess you could use a 360 and 260 and get the same effect for the face, but you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. I'm going to show you how to do it using the 321 B bodies. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got a link a -loon, or quick link for the belly. I've got two B bodies, 321s, for the cheeks and, and head. Um, we're going to use probably four 260s. I've got a couple extra just in case. Um, a scrap of black and a scrap of pink. We're just a little bit of pink. We're just gonna use that for the nose, so you don't need a full 260. Okay, we are going to start with the 321s. And I am not blowing this up very much. Um, I'm about one finger short, one finger short of where the taper begins. You can kind of see a little bit of a bulge there um, where the taper begins. Uh, so I'm about one finger short of that. I'm using one of the old Qualitex green pumps, uh, and I'm putting two pumps in. Okay. Again, same amount. And I'm going to start by making a bubble. These can be difficult to work with sometimes making a bubble that's mm, two fingers-ish. Oh. See if I can get this. Uh. Yeah, about two fingers. Okay. And I'm going to hold that and do the same thing in the other balloon. I want to get these so that they are the same. That looks pretty good. I think that's good. Okay, so you've got those. Wrap them together. Now I'm going to give each of these a squeeze. They should be about the same length, so we're doing very well. Um, I'm going to squeeze, and I want about that much, about three fingers for the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and twist that off, and then the rest of this I'm going to make into one of the cheeks. Do the same thing over here. Again, I'm giving it a squeeze. I want about three fingers for the eyes. So hopefully those two match, and it looks like not quite. I'm going to do that another try. Okay. So the eyes, the two bubbles for the eyes should match. And then take this and make it into a loop. So here I've got, you can see the cheeks are about the same. I'm going to take the ends of these. I'm going to tie them together for the eyes. Okay, like that. Um, now this looks a little bit funny. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take each knot, I'm going to roll the knot towards the nozzle, okay, um, and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to pinch twist it. So I'm pulling it, I'm pulling the knot and nozzle back into the joint where everything is wrapped together. Do the same thing over here. Roll this knot down, and then take the knot, and bring it back and wrap it in. I think I'm going to swap the cheeks around. 
make it all nice and tight. Okay, so now I've got the muzzle of the bunny. Um, by rolling the knot down like that and then wrapping it in, it lets these stay a little bit rounder rather than turning into that kind of flat pinch twist shape. Uh, it's up to you whether you like that or not. Um, there are the cheeks, the muzzle, the eyes. Let's take a 260 now. And I'm going to leave about a 7-ish finger tail on this. Um, that's kind of standard for my balloon animals, is that 7-ish finger tail. Um, I'm going to make a small pinch twist. And this is going to go right under there. It's going to be the bottom lip. And then I'm going to take this up to the top of the head so that it's just curving over the top of the eyes. I'm going to twist it right there, and I'm going to make pinch twist. Now I'm going to bring it down. This bubble should be about the same size as the eyes. I'm going to wrap that in. And, oh, that came undone. Okay, now I'm going to take the 260. I'm going to kind of push it into the cheek a little bit. So I'm, I'm kind of... I don't know if you can see that. I'm kind of pulling the cheek open a little bit and seating that into the cheek. And then I'm going to bring it up to the top of the head. Twist it into that pinch twist. And then do the same thing coming back down. Looks like this one's a little bit long, so I'm going to undo that, undo it, and redo it. And again, I want to seat it, so I'm going to pull the cheek open a little bit and stick that in there. Looking at it from behind, this is what we've got. from the front. Okay, I'm going to make a small, small bubble there between the cheeks and then a pinch twist. And now I'm going to take my uh, Linkaloon and I'm going to inflate it a little bit bigger than hand size. I, I don't know how to describe much I'm inflating that. Um, and tie that off. Take either end, doesn't really matter. And we're going to attach this at the pinch twist here in the back. Now we're going to bring this down and we're going to attach it here. And I want to be able to get up and back with this for the body. Um, the other thing that you can do if you want your bunny to have a tail, although the tail the tail doesn't really stick out very well, um, is you can make a small bubble here and pinch twist it and that can act as the, the bunny's tail. Okay, so attach that there. Go back up to the pinch twist. down and it looks like I've got just a little bit left over that I can break off. So I pop that off try it. Okay. Whoop. It's a good thing I tied that it just came undone. 
wrap that around there again. And wrap it through so it doesn't come undone. Okay. So here we have our bunny so far. The bottom lip is going to sit kind of right on top of the belly. That's good. We'll take another 260. And I'm inflating this about halfway. Seven to eight finger tail. And I'm going to make a three, three and a half finger bubble. A pinch twist. A small bubble. Another pinch twist. I want to match this to that. So like, like that. Wrap that around there. And a pinch twist at the heel. Um, I actually, I like a double pinch twist here, so I'm going to do a second one. Sometimes, because of the double pinch twist, you'll actually run out of balloon. Um, we'll see. Now I'm going to feed this between the Linkaloon and the body. Between the Linkaloon and the body. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to give this a bend. You could actually put a pinch twist here if you want, but I'm just going to give it a bend and a squeeze. Okay. So the leg is coming out like that. On the other side, I'm going to give it a bend and a squeeze, and then I'm going to create the same kind of foot over here. So try and get the legs the same length. Try and make the bubbles on your feet match the bubbles on the other side, same length and everything. One toe, small bubble, the other toe. Turn this to the back. And then split this last bubble. Oh, one of my pinch twists came undone. Okay. So there are the two feet. And the problem... Now the bunny will sit up on his own. The problem with having the tail there is that it makes it so that he's kind of levitating. Um, if you want, you can you can kind of shove the, the tail. It's off center because we've got three bubbles and not four. Um, I find four just looks too fat, but you can shove it in there. Uh, it's a little bit off center, but it makes him sit a little better. Or her. Could be a her. Him or her. Uh, now we're going to do the arms. So you need another 260. Inflate it the same amount. Do three pinch twists. One, two, three. That's our bunny's hand. Three pinch twists like that. Give a little bend and squeeze. And depending on the size of your bunny, however long you want that to be, I'm going to attach this to the pinch twist here. So it's attached to the pinch twist. And then I'm going to, uh, let's actually bring this all the way around. And I'm going to sh shove it in between the belly and the back, like that. And same thing on the other side. One, two, three. Triple pinch twist. Now, if you don't mind having short ears, I guess you could use this for the ears, but I think that would be too short, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. 
okay this is what we've got it's looking really good oh. we're going to do one more of the body color and we're not going to use all of this leave yourself five or six fingers tail is fine um, make the ears as long or as short as you want I kind of like mine I don't know what is that nine to ten fingers so six or seven inches um, I do like to put a twist in the end that keeps the balloons a little closer together rather than just being a big loop and I like to give a squeeze and a bend um, And you can cut off the excess. Um, I don't have my scissors, so I'm just going to leave that on there. That gets wrapped into the, the pinch twist up top. Um, and if you have extra like this, you can just kind of hide it inside the head. There you go. All right, we are almost done. Home stretch here. Let's take the black. Just a little bit of air in there. Uh, make a, that's maybe a little big. One to one and a half finger bubble. Squeeze the air down so you have a little slack and then tie the two ends together. Um, if you want, you can tie it twice and get really secure. Ah, for the tutorial, I'll just leave it. Have a little bit of slack in the center there and do the same thing again. Try and make the bubbles about even. Break off the rest. Tie the ends of the bubble together, and then if you've got excess hanging off like that, you probably want to cut it off. There we go. Okay, this is going to go in here as the pupils. So bring it, bring it down, and we just need the nose. So take a pink or whatever color you're going to use for the nose, put in a little pump of air, let a lot of that out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tie that. And I should have should have brought my scissors or my cutter with me. Okay, so you have your bubble. Tie the two ends together. And then this is going to go right on top of the muzzle. Okay, position the arms. Get that pinch twist up between the cheeks, like that. That is your bunny. He sits on his own. He's very cute and cuddly. And I hope you like it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.